It's this door right here. Okay, thank you. You've been a great help. Hello? Hillary, Hillary Cortez? One second. Someone got by my secretary. Yes? I, I was just wondering if you had a minute. Well, it's actually not a good time at all. My secretary can set up an appointment. Jason, yeah, I am so sorry about that. I'm not sure how that person... It'll only take a few minutes, I, I promise. <sighs> sorry, Jason. Sir, I'm on the phone. We're trying to put this issue to bed before five. Well, that's uh, just what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm Ernie Gilbride. <gasps> the dog fancy CEO. That's me. Jason, I'm going to have to call you back. Ernie, I am so sorry. Please, come in. Have a seat. Thank you very much for the invitation. I am so sorry. I didn't know it was you. I'm just trying to get this issue... Please, don't apologize. I'd guess 90% of the staff here wouldn't recognize me. I guess I like to keep a lower profile. I'm just happy that you're working so hard on the new issue. Yeah, it's been a real bear. Is that a proof on your desk? Do you mind if I... Oh, please, be my guest. (laughs) Look at that little guy on the cover. What's he doing in that wagon? That's nutty. Let's see. Nine things your dog food says about you. Like owner, like dog, the lookalike semifinals heat up. Ooh, an interview with the director of Milo and Otis. He didn't like the photo we were going to run. We, we've been scrambling for a replacement. <laughs> didn't like the photo. Yeah, well, that's Hollywood for you. You can say that again. Do you fancy dogs, Ms. Cortez? I, what? Do you fancy dogs? It's a fairly straightforward question. You work for Dog Fancy. Do you fancy dogs? Well, I love dogs. I grew up with dogs. My family's always had- Hillary, there's been reports of conflicts. Conflicts? Yes, conflicts. May I shut the door? Please, go ahead. What sort of conflicts are you referring to? We've been making our deadlines. Advertising steadily made small increases. And nobody's disputing that. Here, let's make this easy. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the June 1989 issue of Dog Fancy. Top 10 most photogenic breeds. That was my second issue. And everyone was so impressed how you hit the ground running after Kyle Leon had to leave. Those are big shoes to fill. Kyle was the editor here for 10 years. And you know that the Corgi people weren't too happy about being left off that 10 most photogenic breeds list. They weren't? Wait, corgi owners? Yes, corgi owners. They're sick f- Hillary. Seriously disturbed people. And they were pretty displeased with this list. Well, I don't think we got any letters. They firebombed my kid's school. They what? Yes, I told you. They're sick f- They live for those dogs, and they don't like to see them disrespected. Was anybody- Don't worry. My kids weren't hurt. Well, what about the other- They targeted our decoy school. Decoy school? Yes, we realized years ago that when you run a controversial publication like Dog Fancy, it becomes necessary to establish a decoy school to protect your children. What? I can't believe what I'm hearing. You know, Hillary, I thought the same thing recently when I read your interview with Virginia Magazine. My college alumni magazine? Mm Mm-hmm. When they asked you to describe your current line of work, you said, I edit the magazine Dog Fancy. You know, it's like Cat Fancy, but with dogs. Well, that's pretty much what it is. Isn't it? (laughs) Conflicts. Why do you keep saying that? You know, Hillary, when my dad died, he left me and my brother Bernard each a share of his media empire. Bernard got Cat Fancy, the shining beacon of the fancy media empire. And I, I inherited, well, what did I inherit? Dog Fancy? What did I inherit? Cat Fancy, but with dogs? Yes, Cat Fancy, but with dogs. Never mind that I sat next to Father for those three weeks in the hospital while Bernard was off on a tour of historical grain silos. Look, I meant no slight to your family or the magazine, sir. It was only the easiest way for me to- What do you see on this magazine cover, Hillary? What do I see? Yes, on the cover of this November 1989 issue of Dog Fancy. What is that? It's a Dalmatian puppy in a fire hat. Good. And how about this one? September 1989. 
three dachshund puppies. Uh huh. March 1990. That was our puppy palooza issue. Yeah, you're seeing puppies. You know what I'm seeing? Conflicts. Conflicts. What's the name of the magazine you serve as the editor for, Miss Cortez? Dog Fancy. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I I didn't catch that. It was. Dog Fancy. Dog Fancy. So, what are these puppies doing here? What are these puppies doing on the cover of Dog Fancy? Well, puppies are just small dogs. Presumably, if you like dogs, you like puppies. Maybe even more. Puppy Palooza was one of our top sellers. I am not here to whore myself out to the magazine buyer, Ms. Cortez. If I wanted to sell magazines, I'd put a pair of boobs on the cover and rename it Dog Fancy with Boobs. Wait, why not Boobs Fancy? I am here to deliver a quality magazine about dogs to be read by people who fancy dogs. People who fancy mangy coon hounds in the back of a pickup truck. Filthy curs lying on front porches next to old guys named Emmett in a rocking chair. Flea-bitten mutts gnawing on their own front legs while their brothers fight over a bone out of focus in the background. Tattered collars on some of them. The backyard dug up, strewn with feces, the only food bowl empty but still surrounded by flies. Okay, okay, I've got it. No more puppies. More mangy coonhounds. You know, Nancy from accounting came to see me the other day. Nancy was very upset, said you denied her pitch to write about her experiences breeding boxers. Well, she's an employee of Dog Fancy. I just thought that allowing her to advertise her breeding business in the pages of the magazine she works for might pose a... Oh, oh, do go on. A conflict of interest. Yes. Well, as I said before, Nancy was very upset. And we must be very careful around these corgi owners, Hillary. But Nancy breeds boxers. Yes, she does breed boxers. Makes a healthy side business of it, too. But I'm afraid when she comes home at night from the kennel, there's a roly-poly corgi, tongue hanging out of its mouth there to greet her. Did she? Yes, she firebombed my kid's school. Oh, God. Corgi owners are sick f***s. Was it the decoy school? It was one of them, yes. Very fortunate. Very fortunate. Well, I am I am really sorry about all of this. I wish I had known. I've really sort of had to learn on the fly here. The guy before me... Kyle Leon, yeah. The very first editor of Dog Fancy. Yes, I never met him. I guess he had taken ill and I was brought in as his replacement. Perhaps if I had more time to work through a traditional handoff, I might have been more clear on management's preferences. <laughs> Oh, I don't think spending any more time with Kyle Leon would have done you any good. Kyle, well, let's just say that we didn't see eye to eye on everything. Conflicts? Conflicts. What did they tell you about Kyle when you started here? Just that he had been here for ten years and that he left due to sickness? Seems a bit strange, doesn't it? A man in the prime of his life suddenly takes ill. The company he's given a decade of his life to doesn't see any value in waiting for him to get better. Seems to me like a magazine could afford their editor of ten years a bit of time off to recover from a sickness. If they were happy with his work, of course. Then again, we were fairly certain Kyle wasn't going to be getting any better. Are you saying that you... My... My God! You poisoned him?! Kyle didn't fancy dogs, Hillary. Here, take a look at this. Your wallet. Yes, flip through it. I've got some pictures in there. Is this to your wife? On our wedding day. She looked radiant. Your children look really happy in this one. (laughs) They say the boy looks like his old man. Look, if you'll just let me leave town, I'll, I'll never trouble anyone here again. Turn to the next picture, Hillary. Oh, no. That would be Baxter, Muffy, and Biscuit. Your corgis. Our corgis.
The car is ready, boss. It'd be best if you didn't make eye contact with anyone on the way out, Hillary. Especially Nancy. I... please... I don't want any... Why are you doing this? I told you. Corgi owners are sick f***s. Dog fancy!